A congenital heart disease condition, rather, that causes the electrical impulses in the heart to misfire. People with the condition often need a pacemaker to keep their hearts in sync, but traditional versions are just too big for children with the condition. Ursula Perry explains how the tiniest of wireless devices is helping kids not miss a beat. The Anthony family loves a good adventure, sand sledding in New Mexico or strapped into a thrill ride. They are not going to let anything slow them down, not even congenital heart disease. Three of the Anthony's four children have a condition that blocks the pathway that sends electrical impulses to the heart. At nine years old, my first son, and now he's almost 19, you know, it lasts about 10 years, so he just had his second pacemaker put in. Five days later, 16-year-old Sam got his first pacemaker. The next day I was able to fully walk around and do everything, and it felt fine. Two sons, two pacemakers over five days. But for Sam, cardiologists were able to implant this tiny wireless pacemaker, approved in 2016, but used now in a handful of kids. Dr. Love inserted the micro pacemaker by threading a catheter through a vein. This pacemaker is entirely contained in the heart itself, and because of that, um, he'll be able to participate in sports and activities with really minimal uh, to no restrictions. Among other things, Sam's looking forward to getting back to the ball field and more family vacations. We kind of don't let it bother us. We, we travel a lot, we do a lot of crazy fun stuff, and not worry about the little stuff. The Anthony's say their 13-year-old son does not have this genetic heart condition, but their 7-year-old daughter may. And in the future, she may need one of these tiny pacemakers. Ursula Perry, KSAT 12 News.